just a back to the future moment about the software and just keeping a bit organized for yourself and the settings and all that if you have Adobe Acrobat not the reader but the proper software on your computer or you have access to it if you just get the PDF manual file and previously I showed you how there's all photos down the side for the, each page if you go to bookmarks there isn't any listed but it's easy to add your own you see a little icon above the if it's blank there's new bookmark so all you do is you you go to the page you want to bookmark so if we're comparing the Blomka manual to the Sintron manual you can say go to the Blomka add all the bookmark pages that are used in the Sintron so you could have Sintron this and like that or the ones that interest you and what I've done is I've added it for the g-code that sort of thing and so for one page which is the 193 the m119 code I've just added a bookmark m119 limit suite status and so that explains that I then added another page the g28 the homing just a brief description of what it is in the in the column in the description of the actual bookmark and so when I come back later oh, what page was that on I can just easily open up the bookmarks and it's just got the ones I've added to it rather than the whole range of icons for the 233 pages and also I can quickly look at that and say what does M119 do oh that's a limit switch status what's G28 oh that homes X Y and Z that's what's M14 current position so if you do that at the very beginning then you'll save a lot of time trying to go through each page to find out where it is so that is another reason why to work off the Bloomka PDF manual and so you need to save the changes whatever changes you make next one is when you are in notepad plus plus it remembers the last file that was open or the series of files are open you can delete them close a list and all that in the file menu but what you can do is that everything with a backslash double blacks double backslash and then text you'll see it green that's comment so you can add your own words to it so remember how we done the search for the defined statements we had to change well once you know what number they are what line number is you can put it up the top so on line 18 and 19 it's got build date and time of this actual code and all that. so what I do is I've just added an extra comment and I add the time and the date of when I change this so I pick today's date and look at the time I save it so then I know and also it's got the author I've just added my name in inside that bracket as well now that appears in other software but then behind that I've got a list of the changes that I've made so if I have had to change a direction from false to true or true to false that's there but I also put the line on it then if I done some steps some steps per millimeter whatever some changes I also put the and the line so then when you're calibrating and you put in 100 and you test it and oh that's too big rather than do the search you know what it is and what line it's on so you just open it up there it is line 22 and you just drag down the, the line on the side so that will save you immense amount of time. You can leave it, come back, you know what you changed, what you didn't change, and it then it's just your record. However, don't hit carriage returns because that then upsets all your line numbering. You might say it's line 35 and you put in five carriage returns and now line 40 and so <laughs> all your codes on. So these don't wrap around like Notepad does, so it just goes longer 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 so that's time saving there so use that also save it and each time you do a save you have to then upload the adreno sketch again the marlin sketch back up to the mega board so just because you save here doesn't mean it saves on the hardware so every change you do you save and then you re-upload that sketch so that's important and the third one is that each time you open up Drina to load it up there's sketch fab 16a on this particular one that keeps coming up and then you might get routine just click <laughs> upload is uploading that sketch and you know what have I done wrong so on the file menu if you that's the third one down you'll then open up a sub menu and it's got libraries and Marlin that's the folder that we're using so you just go across to the Marlin click on it and there's a sketch open up all the time and if you do happen to then go to the, on this particular setup it's the fourth tab config H you can just check that it's the one that you changed and saved in notepad plus plus and all you have to do is just look at the time and date that you changed it to and what the change 
matches her and so that way you know you're setting the right one up you haven't misplaced the folders or something wrong and uh, it's time saver so as you have to check change check change check change you can make mistakes and it can take longer and get a bit boring so just have those time savers and you'll be able to do it a lot more accurate a lot more quicker and with a bit more smile on your face there's just some tips I thought you should have now